Hey y'all, this week we talk about where you can find our weekly menus, how to find us online, and our new giveaway. All while having a whole lot of fun. I'm sick of standing in line for a fast food meal, so I'm gonna make dinner with some sex appeal. Gonna buy a slow cooker that loves to cook my dinners for me. <laughs> gonna trade my Whoppers for home cooked food. I'll even get my recipes from Chris Goo, cause we all just wanna be big croc stars eating Mississippi chicken and magic bars. The recipes are easy and the side is free. The recipes for chicken or pork or beef. We're gonna make dishes that are the bomb. Gonna get them from RecipesTheCroc.com. The dishes are tasty, the ingredients cheap. Now I'm gonna be happy with the food I eat well. Hey, hey, I'm gonna be a croc star. <laughs> Well, hey, hey, I'm gonna be a croc star. I love it. You like that? I love it. Hi, and welcome back to another edition of As Good As It Gets. I'm Chris. And I'm Mikey. And this is a weekly chat from our kitchen where we answer your questions. All while having a whole lot of fun. Yes, Let's yes. talk about summer, summertime. <sighs> it's almost here. It's within reach. It's, it's right. Yes. There. Yes, if those, if the thunderstorms would just stop. Yes, the redneck party deck is open, but the the back walkway is closed. Because if you walk off of it, you will not walk into a <laughs> pool. You will walk into sand and have about a four foot drop. So <laughs> we plan on putting the pool up as of the day of this showing, um, the Saturday, the day that y'all should be watching this. No, if, we, unless you're watching it on Sunday, uh, well, then you it was yesterday we planned it. But anywho. This coming Saturday, before this taping, we had planned on getting the pool up, getting it filled up, and getting it ready to go. Technically, so we, I had planned on doing that the week before, but yes. it just keeps not happening. But here's why. Alexa, what's the weather supposed to be like tomorrow? Tomorrow in Mooresville, you'll see lots of clouds and thunderstorms, and can expect a high of 80 and a low of 64. Well, pretty soon, our yard is just going to be a pool, and we're not going to have to worry about putting the it's pool It's been up. raining a lot this spring. Yeah. So, hopefully soon. Yeah. Maybe by October, we'll have a pool yes. open. But it's summer, so I got my summer hairdo, mm -hmm. cut off all my hair. She got her hair did, and isn't it pretty? I've yeah. been telling y'all about it. I, like, I think it's gorgeous. Miss Ad even got her hair cut. I've been getting on her about her long, long hair and how I love it. But it was time to she cut needed, it off a little bit. She needed to trim a little off so she could easily take care of it. And she's a cutie. Yes. She looks good in it. But enough about us. We've got. Let's some, talk about you. We got some fun stuff. Um, like a long time ago, people been asking me about can, you know, instead of t-shirts, do crock posse aprons. And so I was talking to a friend, and she told me because I had tried with Teespring, and they weren't interested in doing aprons. And so I was talking to a friend, and she mentioned that Zazzle had a way to do it. And so I was playing around on Zazzle and created these Crocstar oh. fun um, mugs and aprons and stuff like that. And we're we're hoping today our Crocstar yeah. apron comes. The coffee tastes so much better. But more. the coffee cup came, and we really like it, and we really like how things are laid out there. So... Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put up a crock posse apron in that store for those of you that are wanting that. And yes, buy one. Buy ten. Hand yes. them out to friends. Yes. Um, so there's that. that so we're going to have that. But because we finally figured out a way of that, we thought it might be fun to do... Do, 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 do. <laughs> Oh, we haven't done that in a while. Uh, um, it would be fun to do an apron giveaway. Well, we haven't done a giveaway in a while, too, so No. Yay. And so what the giveaway is going to be is for any subscriber of our channel. So if you are not a subscriber... Make right sure now, subscribe. click that little red box that says subscribe. And then the subscriber, uh, that will be the first drawing. And you know, we've had really... Uh, uh, Great not, luck with not, that. <laughs> not good luck with people responding to that um, to that uh, in, in YouTube messaging, <clears throat> like your notifications. You always want to check your notifications yep. because you'll see that we get, you get a message from us if we draw your name. But if that doesn't happen, if that person doesn't respond within 48 hours then we will um, 
we will randomly choose a commenter from down below. Yes, and the comment this time will be, what is your favorite recipe from our cooking shows? Oh! So, if it could be a pork recipe, it could be a chicken recipe. And if you haven't tried something, you could just say, which one would you like to try? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so we're going to give away an apron, and then I told Mikey, I said, well... I don't want to just give away an apron. Let's go ahead and give away a um, slow cooker with it. So, <gasps> so whoever wins the apron will also win their choice of a casserole crock, a programmable casserole crock, or the right size Hamilton beet. Oh my gosh, I feel like Oprah right now. You get a crock pot and you get an apron. Except it's only one person gets. Oprah's you get a crock pot and an apron. <laughs> there you go. Oprah's yeah. giving it away. No, we ain't got the funds like <laughs> Oprah does. So only one so, of you. Um, the contest, unfortunately, will only be open to um, U.S. Continental because that's where we can ship to. Um, and um, so I apologize to our international folks. Yeah, our, our friends in yeah. Sweden and Australia yeah. Yeah. and... So Canada. we'll figure that out one day, but yeah. for this time, um, and, and that's all. And so all the details of the giveaway will be down below. Um, and we'll keep it open. What is today? Today is Friday. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, what is today? okay. Is the, so I can't tell cause I don't have my glasses on. Let me pull up my calendar. See, I got these things stuck to my eyeballs. There's no way in the world I would ever, ever, ever wear contacts. I can't, I don't even like my finger this close to my eye. That's not cool. <laughs> okay, let's say the contest will end. Do, 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 do. Um, let's go on and leave it up through June 10th and then that way hopefully by the June 17th show we'll be able to announce who the winner is yes. on the show. So hopefully somebody will respond to us by then. Hopefully. <laughs> yes. So that's what, that's the deal. So All right. How's that for an update? I dig it. And now it is time to go to reader emails. Reader emails. Alrighty. <clears throat> I have an email from Spencer. Spencer, Hello, Spencer. says, um, I started saving weekly um, meal plan recipes today. Where can I find the other um, 38 I'm missing. So he must have started with uh, the 39. 39. Um, that he's having some... Um, I'm not, I'm not going to give the details. He's going to have something medical done. So he'd like to try the meal plans. I'm assuming during his recovery. Mm -hmm. So um, thanks. And P.S. He's really enjoying the recipes. So where can he find it? Well, first off, Spencer, we'll be praying for you that everything goes well yes. uh, medically. And also, you can go to recipesthatcrock.com, and we will put a link down in the description below that will show you every weekly meal plan. And mm -hmm. if you're already on week 38, something's up, because this is only 37. Are you sure? Well, the meal plans, Wait. I think, are named differently. Oh, because I was thinking maybe Spencer was from the future. Um, but I was going to say, tell you what, Spencer, could you tell me what ne next week's lottery numbers would be, and I would split it with just you. Just ignore him. I don't know. It's not like I read the blog. Uh, that shouldn't go in. <laughs> I do. I do read it. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. go back. Uh, <laughs> no, the, there's no time traveling. <laughs> there's no time traveling in the weekly chat. Um, the quick answer, <laughs> Spencer, is we'll put a link down below, mm -hmm. but also... There is a direct link that takes you to everything that we've tagged weekly recipes um, or weekly meal plans. And then the, also the really quick way to find it is on the homepage of, the, of recipes at crock.com. You can just go to the and more section, which is the, the last section on the website. And that's where all the weekly meal plans show up. Or you could go into the little search bar on the side and just type in weekly and it will bring up anything that has weekly in it and you will mm -hmm. see every weekly menu plan that we've yes. had. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I have one from Bobby. Yes. And Bobby asks, how can I register on your website and receive the updates and newsletters and be a part of the community? All right, well, um, I've already responded to Bobby. I need to get back to Spencer, but... Um, it's really, really easy. Um, there is a link, which we can put down below, 
that you can sign up on the newsletter and for the newsletter you can decide whether or not you want to receive them daily or weekly or if you want to receive a handful a week like two or three a week um, that also whether or not you want to receive um, two or three a week um, we also have all kinds of places online that you can connect with us the newsletter is definitely the best place because that's where we kind of put the majority of everything to kind of let you know what's going on um, you definitely want to subscribe to this channel because you'll mm -hmm. also be entered um, into the um, giveaway but also um, and also if you turn on your notifications with that little the bell, little bell. Click the bell. Then that'll let you know um, when we've put some new content mm -hmm. up because we're kind of like really not following a schedule this summer because life has become really hectic. Yes. Um, but we still put stuff up all the time. Yeah. When we're firing on all cylinders, we were like putting stuff up all every day and now it's a little bit more sporadic because... That's because I was going to die. <laughs> we decided not to kill ourselves <laughs> um, because we are here for the long haul. So we're just like, you know what? We can't just... We, we've got to pull back a little bit. But that means that hopefully what you do receive is of better quality, I hope. Yes, hopefully. <laughs> then um, then us just trying to rush and get stuff up. So that's what we're that's what we decided to do. So this channel, um, we're in all kinds of places on Facebook, and we'll put links to all that. We have a Facebook page for the website that's just primarily just the recipes from recipes that crop. Goodness gracious has a page too. Um, and we're working on that. And it, we're working on, um, we're hopefully going to, over the next year, um, make Goodness Gracious, which is was our first blog, we're going to breathe new life into it and bring some more quick and easy recipes. So that's why Cooking Chris's Dishes has started sharing some things beyond just the crock pot. Mm -hmm. And so we've got that. Then we've got um, the Recipe Club uh, a Facebook group which is primarily just crock pot recipes for people who want to be in a group and then we've got the fun group that is for this channel which yes. is the as good as it gets group mm -hmm. um, with an E G O O D. -E. and we highly recommend that you join that if you all are on Facebook um, then we we highly recommend that you go to as good as it gets on the Facebook groups and join our little group. Just click join and you know we'll we'll put you in the group and that'll we'll give you updates anytime that we do a live, mm -hmm. uh, anytime we do a live feed like for the uh, church song Sundays or our new segment uh, the uh, work week wind down that we do Friday nights after I get home from work. Mm -hmm. So um, we have a lot of fun. Uh, the group is growing. Uh, the people that come and join us uh, every weekend for either one of those live events and uh, it's a lot of fun, a lot of chats, a lot of speaking life in those groups and. A little bit of music. Yes, and so that group is really kind of our lifeline to be able to tell you guys when something is going, like we're getting to do something at mm -hmm. the last minute, or if something's not <clears throat> going as planned. So So if you're planning on doing something, you know, if a schedule comes up or somebody needs to go to the doctor or, you know, somebody has to work later than they thought they would or something, you know, something happens, we can give you an update and say, hey, y'all, we can't do it now or we might reschedule for another time. Right. You'll know about it. Plus, there's some funny stuff we put in there, too. Yeah. Uh, a lot of a lot of fun stuff. So it's another ju uh, another ju it's another group to join uh, <laughs> to have a lot of fun and to just kind of connect <coughs> with your fellow croc posse. If right. You will. Um, and then as for the other places, a fun place to join us is um, on Instagram. Uh, we put recipes on there, but also we share, sometimes we share like some kind of snap, or not snaps, we're not on Snapchat. I'm technically on Snapchat, but I don't do it. Um, I haven't figured it out. <laughs> it's okay. Um, but um, we, we put like little snapshots from what's going on um, in there. And so that's another little fun place to be. Um, we've been asked a lot about whether or not we're on Twitter. Recipes at Croc technically is on Twitter as Recipes Croc. Um, at Recipes Croc, um, but it doesn't, um, uh, honestly, I don't, I'm not super active with that account. Quite. Well, I haven't really figured it out. Well, no, it's not that. It's just there's only so many hours in the day, and I can only yeah. do so many places. And my um, Chris Good um, tag or handle on Twitter, I have used 
for a longer period of time. So I'm more active with that. Well, I'm not as active on there as I'd like to be, but you're on Twitter too. As, I'm on Twitter. I, I do. As good I do. Old a, boy. Well, I do a lot connected with like Instagram and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I'll share stuff on Twitter. Um, all my all the videos that we do, mm -hmm. uh, they link over to at Good Old Boy. Uh, over at Twitter, if you do the Twitter tweeting stuff. Twitter tweeting. Twitter tweeting. That's a redneck way, I guess, of saying <laughs> I'm sure the, if anybody that's uh, an owner of Twitter saw that, they'd be like, oh, my gosh. That's not my people. But, uh, Honey, I don't. I think you're the last thing that they're worrying about I'm, I'm on probably, Twitter. Yeah, there's a lot more going on on Twitter. <laughs> there's than a lot just going on on Twitter. But uh, yeah, join us. Uh, there's so many different forums that um, we do discussions on, but this right yeah. here is the main thing. Other than yeah. recipes that crock, is mm -hmm. this YouTube channel you, as good yeah, as it gets. Yeah, definitely commenting here, um, the Facebook group, and then just to kind of keep tabs on everything that's going on would be the newsletter. Mm -hmm. Those are the place. Those are the key places. And like, I also get oh. I'm also on Pinterest. If you use Pinterest, that's a pretty big thing for the website. It's I wondered not, if you were going to yeah, mention that because you go to Pinterest and a, a friend of mine was asking, he's like, so what exactly does your wife do? I said, I tell you what, brother, go to Pinterest and type in crock pot recipe. And he's like, okay, I'm looking. I see, I see, uh, let's see, recipes that crock.com. There's another one from recipes that crock.com. I'm like, he goes, dude, just about everything on here is oh, recipes that crock.com. Oh, not everything. But, but we do, we do participate over, like, all of our new recipes are definitely, or all of our recipes, plus any time we put a new recipe, it definitely hits Pinterest. So if you're a big Pinterest user, make sure you're following us. Um, we are, I believe it's recipes that crock. I'll put links down below, mm -hmm. so you'll have all those links. Um, don't worry about that. The other way to connect, you can connect via email, but I will tell you, ever since my computer decided to, like... Die? D well, the one died, the other one was like a little fire starter that we had to send off to California and I've just been a mess so I've been horrible about email lately so you can send an email I promise it gets filtered into a folder for me to answer but I am like so way behind that is Chris at recipes that crock.com or Mikey at I'll Recipe take some of the I'll take some of <laughs> the, the traffic of off if you want to go Mikey we at recipes that crock.com <laughs> and if you want to harass her Aunt Lou at recipes. Oh com. yeah, look, <laughs> she, she'd appreciate that because she's she's helping me carry the load with all the things that I'm trying to um, still be able to do with my computer limping along. But um, you know what? On top of that, hmm. she's kind of fun too. Uh, <laughs> We've been doing a lot of videos with her lately, and the the crock posse seems to really enjoy Aunt Lou. So we'll yes. hopefully do a lot more with yes. that. Yes, Aunt Lou um, very much is big, big, big part of everything that we mm -hmm. do um, with the website. But so you can communicate with us that way. We also have a P.O. box. If for some reason snail mail is your thing, we love getting snail mail and reading your letters that way. So you can send us questions that way. And I haven't reached out to him in a while, but uh, Rich Billionaire, oh my if goodness. you're listening, P.O. Box 350, Monrovia, Indiana, 46157. <laughs> I wondered if he knew. <laughs> I had to think about it for a minute. <laughs> Our P.O. box is in a different town than where we live. So <laughs> I didn't know if you when knew. When you what live in the sticks, everything's, <laughs> everything's kind of jumbled confusing. up together. Yeah. Like, uh, we'll, we'll do the phone from 30 miles away. We'll do the gas from 100 miles away. And, That's all right. And I have one more piece of really cool news. Oh. We are over 7,600 subscribers right now. We're closing in on 8,000. And I know, honey, we said that we were going to wait till 10,000 to do something big and fun, but I'm thinking for 8,000, we're going to have to do something special. So get us there. If you're not a member of the Croc Posse, one more time, I'll probably say it again later, but I'm going to say it one more time now. Subscribe down below. Let's get to 8,000, and I promise you we will do something extremely fun. And I'm telling you right now, it won't be eating the new world's hottest pepper. No. I learned my lesson the last time. I've been tagged by so many friends. Dude, eat the dragon's breath. I will, like, no. I will tell you this. It is not going to be anything that harms you. <laughs> I'm done with that. Oh, I'm done with it too. I'm a delicate flower and I don't want to be injured anymore. Oh my goodness. Oh, well what I was going to say, oh. Aunt Lou um, also helped me this week. Again, things have been crazy. So she put together what the menu was going to be like. And then Mikey drew the menu this week. So let's get to it. What I do, think that's a great idea. How do you want to... I think I deserve a high five. All right. You want the spoon. It's you my turn. Spoon. All right. For breakfast this week, oh my crock God. pot... Cheese <laughs> souffle. Be an egg dish, I think, from Aunt Lou. Yes. Yes. Well, she's not only the tater queen, she's she also the egg queen. And speaking of tater queen, 
Aunt Lou decided that we should do for a snack this week the crock pot bacon taters. And Toast. I need <laughs> I need to apologize. I decided to do some cute artwork and these are supposed to be potatoes that have been wrapped in bacon and that actually looks like three severed toes. <laughs> or they've been skint. Yeah, so <laughs> I promise you that the potatoes wrapped in bacon are a lot more appetizing than skin. They're pounds. very yummy. Yes, they are. And then for Monday, we shall have brown sugar pineapple pork roast with broccoli cheese casserole. I just think my piggy with a little pineapple crown is kind of adorable. <laughs> and then for Tuesday, we are going to have a Taco Tuesday with our beefy Tex-Mex tacos with homemade salsa. Olay! Very good. All right, and then for Wednesday... <laughs> Where you can have leftovers if that's what you want, or if you want to keep on a crocking, you can have our slow cooker chicken and noodles. Very, very good. Chicken and noodles in a crock pot. Mm -hmm. Delish. Mm -hmm. And then for Thursday, Aunt Lou was thinking of me. Thank you, Lou, because I love the seafood gumbo recipe that I came up for. It's delicious. A bowl of seafood. Mm -hmm. It's like the ocean in a bowl. I love that stuff. Mm -hmm. For Friday, why don't you kick the kids out of the house and maybe just have a <laughs> Easy chicken dinner for two. Oh my goodness. A little romance on a Friday night's not a bad thing. What do you say, baby? <laughs> and then for dessert, we're going to have our crock pot cheesecake. That was a recipe that we developed that is fantastic. We discovered that it is really, really, really good and it cooks up really high. So if you like a mile high cheesecake, mm -hmm. that's we definitely did, the We dish actually for you. altered it from a cookbook, but yes. yes. Oh, and, they are fantastic. And we did it two different ways. So mm -hmm. You could do it with the Greek yogurt or you could do it with a traditional cream cheese. I'm more of a cream cheese fan myself. Mm -hmm. But very good. Top it maybe with some strawberries or some raspberries or maybe some chocolate drizzle. Mm -hmm. Whatever you like. Snoop Dogg likes it for drizzle. However you want to have it, it's some good stuff. You're not a Snoop Dogg fan? I, I just don't believe that Snoop Dogg has endorsed our cheesecake. Well, maybe he should. <laughs> Crock Posse! We're over 7,000 members. Maybe one of y'all knows Snoop Dogg. Maybe he's that rich billionaire that can fund to grow this channel. Oh, my goodness. Are you walking Could out? You, I am, if you keep talking like Maybe that. I'll just give you the spoon back. Thank you. We <laughs> want to thank you for watching another As Good As It Gets episode. We have a lot of fun doing this stuff. Yes. Stay with us this weekend uh, for another Church Song Sunday yes. gathering uh, after church about 2 o'clock. Oh, no. We're going to bump it back, remember? Oh, that's right. So we're going to bump it back to 3 p.m. Daylight Savings Time. That way it gives us a little more time to prep for it. Maybe get some more people to join in because I know a lot of people have said, hey, we just can't make it in time. We come back later, which is fine to come back and watch it. But if you want to join us and join in on the discussion, maybe throw in a request. Yeah. I could try to see if I can hammer it out. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Yes. So 3 p.m. Just one on hour Sundays. later on yes. Sundays. And then again, uh, for those of y'all who are with us uh, for Friday, we're going to try and keep doing that every Friday. Our work week wind down at about 11.30 p.m. And that's kind of late, but that's just because that's when he gets home. So, yes, sorry. So that, that's... But we've got some night owls that like to hang out with us. Yes, yes. And so, and we're going to keep on working on getting more Cook and Chris's dishes up there and some family vlogs. So stick with us. And we will give you some new content. All right, send us your questions. Send us your comments. Bye. Bye. What was that? The gnats from the trash are everywhere and I don't like them. They're nasty. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, hi, welcome back to another edition of Goodness, the- you started oh my... before I was ready! Oh my gosh, you scared me half to death. <sighs> well, you've got googly eyes right now. Crock Posse shout out! <laughs>